Hey guys, welcome back to Pillars of Eternity. Uh, last time we got our asses kicked trying to get to the, the Gilded Vale, but eventually we made it there. Certainly. So, uh, real good, we need to get to the inn. We were going to try and rifle through some healing woman's pockets, but it doesn't look like I can do that. Holy shit, check this guy here, he's like uh, just sipping on his, smoking on his fucking uh, vapor stick right there. Jesus. What's this? Stairs? Holy shit, you can go down there. Oh no, we've got to walk. Never mind. Let me get this blood... What's it? Blood... Blood stuff? Why am I got? How do I stop sneaking? There we go. There we go. Blood must. That's where I went. Okay. Oh shit, we can zoom right out. That's crazy. Where is the inn? I can't, I can't remember now. What's this? Yes, this is where I want to be. Get your ass over there. Come on, Theodore. Move it. Definitely couldn't... Nope. The guy said I could go in their pockets, but I guess not. Son of a bitch. Oh shit, what's going off here? You see four people gathered by the door to the inn. Their raised voices and choppy, chopping gestures suggest an argument reaching its climax. The first figure raises his hands for calm. His face is partially obscured by a hood, but his height and stature suggest an elf. I meant no offense. Let's put this matter to rest over a round, shall we? My treat. Holy shit. Hoping to soothe our pride with a few Adira coppers, eh? We don't need your coin. Holy crap. Uh, <laughs> ooh, a fight. Let's, uh, let's, uh, let's, uh, let's interject with, uh, what's going on? Uh, one of the other men points at the hooded elf. His eyes are red from drink, but his gaze is focused. Mocking us, even while he shelters in our village. Just goes to show you what these fancy... Oh god, not another word. I was struggling last time. A diary manners are worth. We don't take to that kind of treatment, not from foreigners. And I especially not from Adrian's. I'm gonna go with Adrian's. Go on, say the cab. I'm itching for an excuse. Oh, he is itching. Why, you're itching for the kindling touch of your sister, you cock's feather! Holy shit, he turned into a dwarven accent. I'll cut that barrel looking <laughs> tongue out of your head! Holy shit. This is a misunderstanding. I didn't say whatever it is you think I said. We've nigh quarrel. Holy That's shit. where you're wrong. Holy shit. I don't think attacking him is such a good idea. Back down, all of you. This is absurd. This isn't necessary. Wouldn't you rather be inside drinking out and out here, are you? You're not going to take that from from him, are you? What the? All oh, right, you're trying to fucking do, make it worse. I'm staying out of this one. Let's go with. Hmm, I think I'd rather be inside drinking. We wouldn't want your charity either, foreigner. Holy shit! Sounds suspiciously like you're defending him. Oh Jesus Christ! Were we in a? F oh, for the love of Christ! And I've got no spells. Okay. What have we got here? Angry Townsman, Angry Townsman, Angry Townsman. Uh, I know nothing about these people, apparently. Let's just smash the fuck out of them. Let's go for it. <laughs> Boom. Oh, shit. Alright, let's uh, smash this guy to the ground. Come on. <laughs> Boom. And then we want to bitch slap this bitch. Ow! Holy crap, they didn't take long, did they? Winner! As soon as the last of the attackers fall, the elf turns to you, the tension almost gone from his smooth face. Not quite how I hope to get to know the neighbors. Thank you for your timely assistance with that awkward situation. <laughs> that was actually fun! <laughs> you mean for slowing them? You're welcome. <laughs> uh... Courtesy is a rare pleasure in these parts. Though your accent suggests that you are no more local than I. Alof, Al Alof. He straightens his hood, and you note the remains of fraying embroidery on his gloves. His boots are caked with the dirt of many months' travel, but the leather work beneath it is sturdy and fine. Well, I suppose introductions are in order after that little fiasco. Alof Corvuser, at your service. Alof! Tell me about yourself. How did you manage to get stuck out here? You'd better have more to say like that than yourself. <laughs> well, I'm a wizard by training. Holy shit, another wizard. An adventurer by necessity. No wonder we, just, uh, we jumped in there. I was born in the Seathwood, part of the mainland of the Adir Empire. Adir, I was close. Both of my parents served the nobility, which afforded me an education for which I am grateful. However, there were no open positions in those houses, and 
So I decided to seek new means in a new land. Holy shit, dude, jump on board. And how exactly did you come to be here? I was traveling with a caravan, but we were separated near some ruins. In Gwythen ruins? In Gwythen. Those can be dangerous places during that. the best of times, which these are not. In half the locals would arrest you for trespassing and the rest would kill you outright. I'm curious, what exactly did you find there? Let's go with... Ooh, yeah. I'm, I'm more interested in this fucking guy sacrificing the saucer machine. A lot of goggles that you suddenly apparently assessing your earnest finally gives you a clip gives you a clipped awkward laugh. You do manage to find yourself in rather interesting predicaments. Yeah, that's what I do. So how did you get involved with these drunks? I'm afraid that was a matter of misunderstandings and mistranslations. It doesn't help that people in these parts remember their war with Adir like it was yesterday. Uh, okay. Did you tell that one man to go fuck his sister? <laughs> you did make a rather lewd suggestion regarding one of the aggressors and his own sister. Ooh. Let's see. I'm going with this. Ah, that. He clears his throat. As I try to tell them, they misheard me. It happens all too easily after a few pints and the accent doesn't help. No, I heard the same thing. For just a moment, he looks at, as if he's about to say something. His expression brightens with mischief, but before he can fi speak, he forces a tight smile, biting his lips so hard you expect to see blood. Finally, his face relaxes and he shakes his head. I should speak more clearly next time. My apologies. Okay, so... An excellent question. I came looking for fresh air and cheap land. Instead, the Magistrate gave me directions to the inn and a story about the local Lord's expectant wife. But I take it that's a familiar tale. Indeed. And me? Well, I am a settler. An expert on souls. Ah oh, yes, I Indeed. remember Indeed. The local Lord has searched far and wide for similar specialists. He has rid himself of them almost as desperately. Ah, oh, God damn it! She's hanging from that tree. God damn it! Begging your pardon, but neither do you. Yet circumstances can find a person in the strangest of places. Hmm. Can we get? I'm afraid that was a matter of misunderstandings and. Mi okay. Oh well, neither one said this. Ah, here we go. Events. It's just as well. I've had enough of the watered wine and lumpy beds at the inn. They say even the owner tired of the place. Just up and left one day. Holy shit. It explains quite a lot about the upkeep. Perhaps I could join you. I could use a change of scenery, and I find it's better to travel in numbers. Well, we did just kill these three guys, so you could rise out, but, uh, I fear so do I. Let's go! Excellent. I shall follow you. Damn right you fucking will. Hell yeah! Yes? Alurif. Or whatever his name is. Alof. Don't even think about taking my loot. It's my loot. Oh shit, we got a club, we got a thing, we got a one of these. Let's just take it all. Oh shit, they're all naked. Whoops. Uh, right. <laughs> Inventory. Oh shit. Uh, can we wear this? Wait, why would we wear that? We still got the good armor. Yeah, fuck that. Alright. Mm. Come on, Luff. Let's get in this fucking inn. I'm, I'm thirsty. I need a drink. Alright. Let's, uh. Mm. What the fuck are we got here? Is this. Can we speak to him? Oh, we can. Villager, villager. Pass. Certainly. A lot. Don't know what you think you're doing, but I do the talking around here. Not you. Sit back. Let's keep you. Hello and welcome. Oh, hello and welcome to the. Oh, it's you. Tenthrift told us what you did for him. Such a relief to have him back. I can't thank you enough. Consider yourself a favorite of the house. Discounts on drinks, rooms, Tenthrift said he wanted to whip up something nice for you. He's already back to work in the kitchen. So what would you like? A room, please. Uh, could use some little sort of help. Do you know anyone looking for work? Let's know more about the Black Hound. Uh, could I see what you got for sale? <coughs> All right, let's get out. Let's see what we got some work. Holy shit! Got a quest. Hmm. Oh. Well, I wouldn't say I can speak from experience, but we do have certain sorts coming by looking for work from time to time. If you want to hire someone on, hire someone on, I'd be happy to send them your way. Let's see what let's see what I have to work with. Let's do this. Get a set of quests. What? I don't want to recruit this guy. Holy shit! 
What is this? We need some tents and shit. Recruit adventurers, store, retrain character, party management. Okay, that's pretty cool. Uh, store. Do you have any tent supplies? I am in need of many. Yes! How many can I buy? How much money do I have? I've got 227 coppers. CP. Is that copper? Fucking, uh, let's buy eight. Oof, Jesus, maybe not. Let's uh, remove those, remove those. Alright, okay, so let's just go down to... Let's just buy two. Yeah, trade me those. Excellent! How much is the room going to cost me? The common room! Holy crap. That's for two two rests, one perception, one plus mechanic. Holy shit, let's do that. Hell yeah! Mm. <laughs> this is crazy. What is this we can see? I know it's just kind of an interlude. Some crazy stones. Holy shit. We completed the task. Your sleep is restless and fevered, sorted by hisses and whispers, blanketed with a suffocating anxiety. You open your eyes to awaken and find yourself in front of Guildvale's gallows tree, the creaking of its ropes growing louder in your mind until the sound is deafening. Fucking hell, like, what's his name? Sloth or whatever his name was, just let us fucking walk out. Hanging from the tree is an old dwarf woman whose face is shriveled inward like mold and mouldering fruit. Her head hangs limply to one side as you look at her. She looms larger and larger in your mind until she is mere inches from your face. Suddenly her head snaps. Holy shit, that is fucking freaky. God. So open her eyes open and they are empty and behind them is a vast nothingness that makes your stomach drop. Her mouth slowly parts and with a gust of rancid air she speaks a word. Watch out. Holy shit, what is going on here? You jolt awake the foul smell of dwarf woman <laughs> dwarf woman's breath still permeating your nostrils. Ugh. Sweat runs down your face in thick droplets and your skin is soaked from the head to toe. You remember the woman? You remember seeing her decaying face when you spoke with the magistrate? He called her an animancer. Holy shit, we've got, got some experience for just having a dream. Nice. It fills you with a new, queasy apprehension. You feel a strange compulsion to see the woman once more, if only to confirm she is truly dead. Indeed. Oh yeah, cheers, Sloth. Cheers for or Loth, whatever your name is. Thanks for fucking let me just wander off. Jesus, this guy. Uh, I think I've, oh, I've leveled up. Sweet. Okay. God, didn't mean that to do anything. All right, let's get some one in survival mechanics. No, I don't want mechanics. I want one in. I can only do athletics. Excellent. Unused points. What does athletics do then? Endurance. Yeah, I think we need endurance. Uh, yeah, let's go with that. Boom. Oh, God, more spells. Level 2 spells. What is this? Oh, these are new spells. Holy shit. Alright. I'm going to read through all the spells. I'm not going to bore you with it. And then uh, when I've decided, we shall see. Alright, so uh, Red Vermal, I'm going for f the Necrotic Lance. Creates a lance of pure necrotic energy, causing corrode damage instantly and over time. Sounds amazing. And the Fetid car Caress. The Fetid Caress. Become paralyzing people, and then they like get sick and people around them. So if I'm in a group, I could paralyze one and sicken them at the same time, so I can tackle them all down. Now, oh, is that what I can do for this one? Oh, cool. Boom. Let's see what uh, old Sloth's got to say. I can't even... Whatever his name is. Fucking Bill, Ted, Aloft, Sloth. We're just going to call him Sloth from now. <laughs> Alright, so he's a wizard as well. Whew, he's got a lot. Let's get some more in survival for him. Mechanics. One in there. Stealth? Do we need stealth? Yes, he gets stealth. And for him, oh, these are the same similar spells. What was the other one? This one is what I want because you can uh, see what the weaknesses are. I like that. And we'll also go with. Ooh. Ray of Fire. Is that a good one? Or oh, Burn Damage Point in its path. Burn Damage Point in its path. Yeah, let's do Ray of Fire. Fuck it. Nice. All right. Let's get ourselves mm -hmm. out of here. There's a guy. Is this the guy we saved? Yeah, Tenrith. See what he's got to say for himself. 
Tariff, it's me. I saved you. Ah, it's you, my savior. <coughs> he makes a sweeping gesture to indicate the kitchen around you. It's good to be back. Ah, oh, this is the guy who's going to do the bandits, yeah. Do you think I will let this go unrewarded? I have decided that you have earned the right to learn one of my most closely guarded secrets, my deep, dearest recipe. After this, you will eat nothing else. The party has gained a new recipe, savory pie. Ah, oh, thanks, Tenriff. Or Tenfriff, whatever you fucking name is. A savory pie to keep you hale and hearty. May it serve you well in your travels. Ah, Tenriff. I will name the name edition you're on. Damn right, you fucking will. Come on, sloth. Let's get out of here. What else are we going to use this guy? Old and server. Are these just all villagers, I'm guessing. Anybody of interest? Anything we can loot? Holy shit, we can loot stuff. <gasps> it's in the pot. Cloth, what have I told you about taking yes. my loot? I swear to god, what are these? It's my milk. My grain. What's this? Oh, labor's rest. Nice. Don't know what that does. Probably extra XP or some shit. What's this? <coughs> Scroll of fans. Development of Cruci Crucible Knight Part 2. Holy shit. And coppers. Boom, take it off. Certainly. All. Let's get out of here, sloth. Yes. Oh shit, I can do four spells now. Nice. Where am I gonna go again? I've gotta go somewhere. How do I view my quest? What's this? Journal. <coughs> Visions and whispers. Oh yeah, I've gotta go to that bloody dwarf, haven't I? Alright. Go on, sloth. Shit, the guys are back. Feels like we've been seeing more bandits now. Oh, okay, just bandits. Different guys. Oh, I bet we're gonna go into this frickin' cellar, haven't we? That is just gonna be the worst. Holy crap. Uh, okay. Holy shit, she's glowing. Like crazy. What's this guy saying? Were you looking for someone in that tree? Uh, I could introduce you. Oh, yeah. Look for anyone who can help me. Make, make me feel better. Strange way to talk about your dead. Indeed. Half the town's up there now. Seems like no right way to talk about it. I'm um, looking for someone, don't we? Gives an understanding nod as he takes it. My condolences. He exhales. Fucking vaping. He's a vapor. Right. Yes. There, there she is. Get in there. Okay, how do we. Oh. There we go. Cad Caldria di Brazandi, the squat distinct. Tended body of an elderly dwarf woman dangles from a thin, crooked borer that sags at the toe of her nose of her noose. The bloated purple flesh of her neck, worn away in patches like the moth-eaten linen, bulges over the rope that suspends her and her lifeless head. Lol, 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 lol. <laughs> Forward rigidly from one side to the other when the breeze shifts. You perceive a faint glow around her that casts no light on its surroundings, but. There's a tepid warmth to it. You just feel somehow that you could reach out and touch it. Not with your hands, but with some aspect of yourself that has no worldly dimension. Reach out for the one. Leave the body alone. Let's reach out. We're going to get fucking killed. Ah, shit. Here we go. It's those fucking visions again. You take a deep breath, clearing your mind, focusing on your objective. As you exhale, you feel yourself spreading out toward the hanging woman, perceiving all that lies between you and her with new, unfamiliar awareness. <laughs> Since you have expended enough to reach her, there is a sudden jolt to your mind, a ringing electric surge of images and words and sounds. Oh shit. Involuntary, you shut your eyes and feel yourself being pulled down to some deeper consciousness in a space occupied only by you and the hanging woman, and when you open them again, she is staring at you with the eyes clouded in milky fog. Her body is still swaying in a wind. <clears throat> you no longer feel from a tree that stands planted in a misty void. Holy shit, the writing in this is pretty freaking good. The woman gives a slow nod of her head, the rope creaking as she does so, and she smiles at you. Have you come oh, here for me, dear? Good lord. Or have you gotten lost? I should not be playing ah, this at night. It is both, I think. Holy yes? shit, she is crazy. Oh yes, I am a dwarf. <laughs> Am I imagining this? How are you able to speak to me? Well, I said, how dare you speak to me? I need to understand something that's happened to me. I think I survived a biwak. Do you know why what that would be? Did you now, dear? My, that would be something, wouldn't it? Could be luck, could certainly be. A storm can be a careless thing. Holy shit. 
Or maybe it got its hands around your soul but couldn't pick it up. Huh? A soul can be heavy if it stayed in one piece through its time. Strong souls, we call them in the trade. <laughs> Cold, I mean. Call them. Those days are all behind me, no? Uh, yes, of course. Uh... You said souls break apart of its time? Oh, yes. <coughs> Entropy. Rima Gan's work. We know little of why or how. We lose pieces of ourselves when we die and pick up pieces of others when we are born again. But less than what we lost. We tried to stop it with the animantic oh, sciences, shit. but with little animantic. success. Uh, yeah. That is crazy. <coughs> A very small few resist Rimargan's influence and stay together through some force of defiance, at least for a time. But they all succumb eventually, I think. Okay, she clicks her tongue. Ooh, la la la. Alright, uh, I need to understand something. This happened to me. She nods, a look of pity on her face, as though consoling a child. Okay. The world looks a little different than it used to, is that it? Feels like you're noticing things for the first time that have always been there. Holy shit, what? You have seen past the shroud. It only takes an instant. Ah, here we go. Your soul remembers, yes? Remembers how it sees when it leaves the body, like being reminded of a dream you had forgotten. You are a watcher now, and the watcher you will stay. Watcher? What's a watcher? What indeed? Long hours have many animancers spent studying such things. Not I. Not I. I'll tell you what I know, though, since fair is fair. And here we are, visiting you and I. And it reminds me of better times. Holy shit. Tell me more, crazy lady. Souls pass on. Some say through Adra stones, Adra. which are the blood veins of the world. Holy shit. They leave the world for a time and are reborn into it. Sometimes more than they were before. But usually less and seldom the same. For all souls, there is a time where they do not live, yet have not passed on. And those souls roam the world, same as you or I, either leaving or lost. But Holy no one shit. sees them because they have forgotten how. That is crazy. A watcher sees, though, knows what to look for. And sometimes they know a person just by looking at them. Know where they've been in ages past when their bodies were other bodies. What? See memories even their owner can't recall. A wonder to behold when all goes well. A wonder. What did you mean? When all goes well? Oh, what did you mean when oh, all goes well? Oh, nothing to be afraid of, I'm sure. Oh, it's yeah, just okay. much to take in for some. Sometimes there's trouble sleeping. Oh, yeah, I had that. You crazy bitch came in my dream. She smiles at you reassuringly, finding out a tuft of long whiskers that sprouts from one of her cheeks. Ugh. You should see old Meerwald. He Meerwald. will tell you much more than I. A watcher just like you. Holy Helped shit. many in his day. Took up in an old keep no one would claim. Not far, not far. Kadnua, beyond the Black Meadow. Black Meadow? He will welcome the company. Doesn't sound like he will. He sounds like he's gone away somewhere and he doesn't want me to come. Me? <laughs> I'll bore you to tears, though. Well, uh, who are you? And here I thought you'd come to visit me in particular. What? Caldara de Baranzi, of the Valian Royal Academy of Animantic Sciences. Not the greatest of their number. Holy shit, but I she's came here out. all the same because this was where help was needed. Yeah, but then they killed you. Jesus, what happened? She laughs, a raspy choke, crackle, escaping between rows of buttery yellow teeth, causing her body to bob up and down with each spasm. Seeing your blank expression, she catches herself. 
<laughs> oh, come now, such a question. As though the answer were plain as a rope tied for strangling. Allow an old dwarf her last bit of cheer. <laughs> well, I came where I was needed, didn't <coughs> I? Offered my services to Lord Radric for a pittance. A humble pittance. Holy shit. I was to examine the Lord's wife. See why the gods have seen fit to poison her womb. Studied her for months. Looked high and low Good for Lord, this dwarf talks. Tested her violence. The permeability of her essence. Do you Holy know crap. what I found? Um, did you find a kangaroo? Nothing at all. Oh. A healthy woman, head to toe, blessed with a beautiful soul. Such a sweet woman too. Meek, but warm-hearted. Holy crap. A few months time and the lord of the house demanded answers. For a time I told him what he wanted to hear. Oh, yes, my lord. She is riddled with imbalances. What I must hell? have time to cure her. As the birth drew near, he grew impatient, as lords do. And this is where I've ended up. Holy crap. A student of the soul. Something so basic, yet so poorly understood. Holy crap, this woman just goes but on, But so huh? many breakthroughs have been made in my lifetime. Had been made. Had been. To Jeez, hear the man. locals tell, so a too gang much. of soul manglers that praise upon the weak-minded. Oh my god, she's just the going on and on. <laughs> the best? Inspirations. Miracle workers. Miracle workers. My parents were really? soul twins. Miserable before they met. Empty inside. It was an animancer who helped one find the other. Turn their lives around. You wouldn't believe the stories. Amnesiacs helped to remember their lives. The suicidal brought back from the brink of oblivion. The Holy elderly shit. afforded extra moments to say their goodbyes. How soon we forget when we're afraid. Hell oh, yeah, and I've just noticed that there's no ex speech marks it's finished in this one. Holy crap, the grammar. Uh, do I have other questions? It's a oh, fascinating God. science. A fascinating time to be alive in a place like Deerwood that does not control the research, no? Okay. I love the Valian Republics for many things. But their recent caution will leave them behind, I fear. Do I have other questions? I don't know. No, I do not. Of course, no. dear. Get out of my face. Good job. Goodbye, my dear. It was lovely visiting. Holy crap. Oh. Fear was granted crucible of the soul. What? Sloth looks at you through narrow eyes. Are you alright? You seem lost just now. Ah, experience. Nice. I. Um, a watcher. Even though it says I'm a watcher, but whatever. Yes, I'm fine. This happens a lot. You'll get used to it. Well, let's tell him we're a watcher, see what happens. His arched eyebrows recede into his hood. Well, that is interesting. Ah, shit, Sloth's gonna kill me. He gives you a sly grin. And I expected this has something to do with the hooded figures in the ruins? Hmm? In any case, I appreciate your honesty since we're travelling together. It's probably wise for us to share these things. Do you know anything about the Watchers? Only that they're rare and that they seem to have unique insight into certain soul conditions. <coughs> As you just demonstrated. Alright, let's continue. F sloth. And the fear shit. Hmm? Go on. Where are we going to travel to Canada? What? Yeah. What did you say? Seven and a half what? Seventeen and a half. No, well, could be eighteen, depending on how you count the dwarf woman. I'm sorry? The dwarf woman. You were trying to figure out whether to count her as a full person. I think you oughta. The people hanging from the tree. Eighteen of them. Sloth frowns. Is that what you people do for fun around here? Who's there? Holy shit, so the guy. people around here might as well be nineteen. What? Don't think I'd put you much higher than 22, 23 tops. You look like the sort that likes to get involved. Jesus Christ, Sloth, what are you trying to do? You're trying to get us killed already? I already saved your ass once. Jesus. What do you mean you think I was interested in the dwarf man? Well, well. I was smoking over here, saw you staring at her. 
Twice I refilled my pipe. You never so much as blinked. Your mouth was so slack I took you for a radric at first. What the hell? I've been out of sorts lately. Impossible! I don't drool half as much. <laughs> well, let's just be open and honest. Careful, friend. Whoa. Let's not use that word round here. Why? There'd be any number of Radrick bootlickers within earshot. Holy shit. Ciphers, animancers, watchers. Same thing in the eyes of folks around here. Radrick especially. They come to these parts all the time with their cures, preying on the desperate. None of them are who they claim to be. Holy shit, of course, we ought to tell anybody funny else. Look, I'd be halfway inclined to believe you were having some kind of communion with that dwarf. <laughs> Either case, maybe I'm not 19 after all. N no offense. What the hell, motherfucker? What's that supposed to be? Don't take a... Uh, don't be so sure. Hey, don't blame me. I don't have a say. You can take my word for that. The town's had it in for me for a long time now. Only fellow who ever stuck up for me, well, he's number 18 up there. My headman on the farm. Used to be my captain during the war. Holy shit, they hung a veteran? Those bastards. Uh, oh man, it looks like we're recruiting someone else. Saints War. Only one in my lifetime. Fellow decides he was living in incarnation of Ephalos. Overthrows Redicus Red. God damn these words. <laughs> Marches on Direwood, so we give him a Direwood in hello. Okay, who is Ethos? Got a rebirth and redemption for me anyhow. Maybe they call him something different from where you're from. Okay, go have a question. Uh, why was your headman hanged? Got, no, got involved. Holy shit. Where did you send people down here the other day? They said that he was a good authority, so in town was working with Kostler, plotting Rodrigo's favor. So if you didn't come forward right then and there, they'd hang with every last one. Holy shit. No one was coming forward, so swoon. That's my headman. He steps up and says it's him. They took him at, took him at his word. Holy son of a bitch. That's crazy. Alright. Oh, God. Who's Cossack? Someone who tried, <coughs> who got tired of all the hangings. He's on the run now. Probably will be till they catch him. Alright. Pick the wrong god. That's what it comes down to. Used to be a lot of Vathus worshippers in Gilded Vale. Why not? Looks I like he takes some deeps. There. there was a temple to him, to give you some idea. Holy shit. Then one day, somebody named Widewind shows up on Deerwood's doorstep. Says he's the living flesh of Aethus. Got an army with him. Suddenly, Aethus isn't so popular in these parts. My brother Woden and me, neither of us believed it. No way was that Aethus. Aethus. He enlisted. Then I did too. But, uh, he didn't make it back. Oh, shit. Sorry, man. After the war, people took to punishing Aethus worshippers, accusing them of treason. Got real ugly, especially after the legacy started. Folks needed someone to blame. I was safe because I fought, but then this rumor starts that my brother, that he was on the wrong side. Holy shit. And I wasn't so safe anymore. Until my headman stepped in and said they'd have to hang him to get to me. Holy son of a bitch. Seems that's no longer a concern. Of course, the townies don't do the hanging these days, but when Radric's men come, they got no problem doing the pointing. Holy crap. Uh, right. Oh shit, Sloth, what are you saying? He lowers voice. You can see why I was eager to leave. Yeah, Sloth, calm down, alright? No one's hanging me in any time soon. Jesus. Get back. I told you, I did the talking. If you hang to be hanging next, what are you still doing here? Drinking, mostly. Fuck it now. What a guy. Oh shit, you can just like look up and down, that's cool. Point of fact, I'm on my way out. Just haven't figured out where I'm going yet. Not a whole lot of places out there, I don't think Wayne's legacy started with waiting. We could travel together. Where are you heading? Some place called Naruko uh, Cold <laughs> Some place, oh yeah, some place called Kaldidinu. There's an old watcher, <coughs> watcher, there who might be able to help me. I seem to remember hearing something about that years ago. Yeah, damn it. He tamed that place. People would seek him out for all kinds of things. Troubles of the soul, questions for the departed. Of course, that was back when you didn't have to say watcher with a hush on your breath. Yo, dude, give me down. Shit, I've only just become a watcher. Don't want to go like a man such as that. Some attention. There'd be things I'd want to ask him. Don't know why I never thought of it before. 
You twat. Not sure how I feel about setting out with a stranger. And a strange one at <sighs> that. Hey, what? But hey, truth be told, you, you, said, you said something about my, my face and my height? Town who wouldn't feel some relief seeing me swing from that tree. Exactly. Come on. Sloth, what you saying? There's a fine reason if I ever heard one. All That's right, a fine then. Reason. Okay. Guess I'll do some sightseeing. Hell yeah. As long as you're not the one picking the sights. Holy shit. Let's get going. Holy son of a bitch. We have just got ourselves another person in the party. Yes. We've got a freaking trio going here. Holy crap. All right, guys. We'll leave it there for today, and then we'll we're gonna head out, go find this watcher guy or whatever the hell he was, or something. Take this drunk ass guy with us. Take this drunk ass elf with us. Get drunk ourselves. Certainly. Kill some people and have a party. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed this episode, guys, please hit the like button. If you didn't, hit that dislike button. I'd love to know if I need to keep continuing or if you're just all bored. Leave me a comment too. I'd love to hear what you think. And subscribe if you want to see. If this is your first time and you want to see more. Until next time, guys. See you.